A man in North Carolina claims glowing orbs visit his property every night. One encounter he had was with creatures with red eyes. Multiple whistleblowers from the military have come out and admitted to seeing things that they believe were not created by humans. Two more freakouts have been recorded on planes. One person claiming they're in a time loop and that they saw the flight attendant changing their battery. The other in a completely out of character outburst jumps up freaking out and demands to be let off the plane. There's also footage of a hairy creature washed up on a shore, a type of entity within Islam that's known as al Jasasa. All of this seems as if the evil demonic fallen realm is breaking more and more into our reality. First, I'd like to lay a biblical foundation for an explanation to what this is that we're seeing. In my last video on this subject, I covered the story of the demoniac who had the demons cast out of him and into the pigs. We also have two stories that I want to reference here. One is in Luke 24, 37, that says, but they were terrified and frightened and supposed they had seen a spirit. This in reference to Jesus when they first saw him walking on the water. Them thinking they saw a spirit seems as if maybe the supernatural fallen realm breaking into our reality is something that's been going on for a long time and they even believed it and saw it back then. Also in Exodus 7, 10 through 12, we hear of a strange supernatural event that took place between Aaron and the sorcerers of Pharaoh. So Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh and did just as the Lord commanded. Aaron threw his staff down in front of Pharaoh and his officials and it became a snake. Pharaoh then summoned wise men and sorcerers and the Egyptian magicians also did the same things by their secret arts. Each one threw down his staff and it became a snake, but Aaron's staff swallowed up their staffs. The world is absolutely a supernatural place. It always has been and it always will be. And God is truly in control of that supernatural power and the one above it all. I'll get more into that at the end of the video, but now let's look at these events that seem to be supernatural fallen occurrences. Christopher Bledsoe, 62 years old, claims that since 2007, he has been seeing glowing orbs that come and visit him every single night. He said this all started taking place when his business went under and he found himself to be very depressed. He went out one night, possibly with the thought of ending his life. And as he was walking to the top of some hill, about 40 feet before he got to the top, he cried out, whoever's up there, help me. And then hovering about 150 feet above the ground were two orbs glowing a blood red tangerine color. During the first encounter when this happened, his son was actually with him on a camping trip. And when he was off in the woods and he had this experience, he said he felt like he was only gone for 20 minutes. But when he came back, his son was weeping, crying in the woods and said, dad, where'd you go? I was scared you'd been gone for hours. And then he'd said he had seen two creatures with glowing red eyes. He claims that these orbs have since appeared over his home every single night. And while according to him, he's reluctant to refer to them as aliens, he does believe that they're not from this world. Allegedly, NASA and the CIA have both been doing investigations into his claims for years. The show Beyond Skinwalker Ranch is actually investigating this guy and they have a show coming out soon documenting him. I believe these things are fully connected to the fallen realm and listen to exactly what he has to say in this article about how he can actually summon these entities. The show's investigators realized Bledsoe could summon the orbs at any given moment, which he told the DailyMail.com, all he needs to do is pray and they appear. The reason these entities appear when people do guided meditations, astral projection, or pray when they have some connection to these things is because they're from the evil fallen realm, they're not from some other planet. Similar to that story in ways are the recent military whistleblowers who have come out and said that they've encountered some types of crafts or things that they've seen that they believe were not created by humans. These clips are from the Sean Ryan show. This first one is from someone who was in the military when he was in the jungle. Him and the troop he was with came across some type of craft that actually had military personnel around it loading black crates into it. And that's when I thought it was it. I thought they were going to smoke us, you know, and they kept saying that, you know, we're just, we can kill you right now. You know, they're, as, as this is going on, they're talking shit. 
And they're looking at us, they're taking pictures, they're doing, you know, everything that they're trying to do, clear us. And that's when I started seeing the key details of this thing. It had like a scale pattern on it. Craft itself was like an octagonal shape where you could see points. It had like these vents on every single corner. It was like a Vanta black, dark black that would like absorb light. But they had uh, weapon cases in the back of each truck bed. And then they had a shipping container, it looked like a shipping container, but smaller and half the size. For years, I thought, okay, you know, it's gotta be oxygen supply or like a vacuum sealing thing. Cause obviously I'm thinking it's drugs. He confirmed, he says, no, he's like, I don't want to leave Michael hanging out there, but I was not expecting to come and talk to you about this. And he says, there's not drugs that they're putting in these shipping containers. That's humans. This next clip is from someone who was in the military, who was contracted by the military through his father's construction company to do a work in a military base underground. And he saw something that he just cannot explain was from this earth. One of the guys looks at my dad saying to both of us, keep your head down, your eyes on the hills of the man in front of you or you'll be shot. What exactly were you guys there to do? What he told me was that we were going down below ground to set up a shoot house. As soon as I looked past them, I could see this giant monolithic slab. The closer we got to it, I could feel this intense vibration. So the closer I got, and I was like, well, I gotta check this out. So I go down to one knee, faking I gotta tie my boots. And then I glance up underneath it, and there's absolutely nothing underneath this thing. What's incredibly interesting about that clip when I watched the full episode on the Sean Ryan show on YouTube is that he explained that all of these hovering monolithic stones that were in this underground military base had a black box on the top of them. And it exactly made me think about Coral Castle in Florida, where one man built this massive megalithic structure site. And with the picture that had been released, he had some type of pulley system with a black box on the top. And that same man said that he knew how the Egyptians built the pyramids. By now, many of us have seen the lady who freaked out on the plane and said that the person in the back was fake. And there's actually two other instances of this that have come out recently. This is a clip from a Chinese airline. This allegedly happened in January. A man started shouting that he was stuck in a time loop and that this was his sixth cycle. He started yelling that the plane was gonna crash, people needed to get off. And then he said that one of the flight attendants wasn't human, was a robot, and he saw her changing her battery. I'll play the short clip of what was recorded from this incident. <laughs> Similarly and strangely enough, another occurrence of this took place in the month of July. On July 10th, Tom Cowling, an up and coming fighting prospect, was on a plane where he jumped up and just started freaking out, seeming to be seriously distressed. All his family and friends say that this was completely out of character for him. They say he was a born again Christian, he didn't party, he didn't do anything crazy, just wanted to succeed with his fighting career. So it's pretty strange to see him act in this way. It's pretty hard to understand what he's saying in this video, so if you can understand, please leave it in the comments. Look at everyone filming, man. <laughs> What's wrong? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, 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 yo. According to Islam, there's a strange creature called Al Jasasa. This thing is covered in hair has a face on the front and back or no face either way, you can't tell which way is forward. And this is something that is supposedly guarding and living with the Islamic Antichrist. Now, of course, I don't believe that the Islamic Hadith or the Quran is the truth, but there are instances where people claim that they found this entity washing up on shore. So I want to show some of these videos as well. According to the Islamic beliefs, they think that this entity will appear in the last days and that it will be a foreshadowing of the Antichrist of Islam, the Dajjal, to be released upon the world. God's supernatural abilities are infinitely more powerful than Satan's or the evil realms. We see this in the Bible 
When you do a study of supernatural events that took place, it's 99% of the time God doing incredible things and very rare occurrences where evil forms broke through. Those opening verses that I referenced just show that it is possible, and in my opinion, explain what these events are taking place on the earth. Maybe not all of them, maybe not all of them in this video, but we are seeing, in my opinion, more supernatural events taking place, and the evil realm is breaking through more, probably a sign that we're moving closer towards the last days. But never forget what's told to us in Exodus 7.12, where we're here where the true power lies, the supernatural power, the physical power, all power. It lies with God, because Aaron threw his staff down and it became a snake. Then the two Egyptian magicians threw their staffs down. They became snakes as well. But Aaron's staff ate the snakes because his staff is the most powerful. God is the most powerful. He's in complete control of it all. Follow him to be on the same side and the right side with all the true power. Thanks for watching. I pray you all are well. God bless.